Hello, welcome back to Brand Shishi Life Marine. In this episode, I'll be sharing with you uh, how I created these um, creations. It's uh, just a fancy Voxel 3D stuff once again. But I'm going to show you the whole process. Um, there are many ways to create this kind of Voxel, right? As we already know. Um, but to make it like really fast and efficient, um, I think the fastest is actually by baking the vertex color and exporting it, uh, the result as point cloud for Magica Foxel. While in Blender itself, currently we are still waiting for point cloud objects and we can already do this using many different ways. Like um, if you look at um, YouTube tutorial by Red Gem 9 recently, um, of course you can just use the something like a something like the remesh modifier and the block right this is already like 3d voxel however this is not it creates the points for the voxel outside but not the inside so so let's investigate a couple of things there are actually add-ons to do this already it's not like it's not completely new um, but I want to show you something. Uh, for example, if I'm using this spread top, I'm gonna grab this torus, and there's uh, these random points on something nodes. You can pick surface or volume, which is pretty cool. We're gonna try just to use volume. I'm gonna show you the demo. So, this is another. Yet another voxel 3D tutorial. Save it very quickly. I'm gonna output these vertices points. Gonna go to wireframe. Increase the number. So the nice thing about this is that we have control over the voxel. So it's not like a uh, like a complete grid. 3D grid of volume um, that you scatter and then you simply slice it. This is more like just you specify the number of points and then you, you will do another processing. So I have these points like 3000 points, right? I can use geometry nodes to um, snap it, snap it into grid. So we have this vector vector mark. We have attribute vector mark, and I'm gonna use this snap. We have wrap, which is also kind of interesting. Snap. We're gonna be using snap today. So we're gonna be snapping position, and the result will be position again. But the uh, the vector here will be a number. So this is what I want to show you it's nothing there's nothing like a uh, big it's just but this number is interesting and uh, I believe you can see you can control the grid of voxel in X Y or Z so it's it can be different value if you just want it to be a same value you just use a value here plug this there now control is using while holding your shift now we can have our voxel um, one thing with this method however um, some points might be overlapping so you need to be careful with that I think the solution is simply use weld after the geometry nodes after this guy use weld this one will merge points that's too close together and then you have another geometry nodes a second one that will do the instancing. So I think this will do the job quite nicely. So you just have like the default cube and then hide it. You go back to your alpha points instancing stuff. Okay, now we have cubes and we are ready to make a voxel. Point scale might do the job. So point scale Every time I do this, okay, I, it's only giving attributes and vector, which is a uh, fun. 
yeah but uh, I think this actually to the joke you can I think if you use attribute you can random you just you just use attribute randomize and then create a new attributes and call it scale and just simply use it it's also kind of nice so starting from a uh, totals right and then you can random scatter etc etc so originally we we grab the torus from outside so it can be any 3d model however because we are connecting everything through stretch of nodes you can just replace the torus and everything should update accordingly so i think this is kind of nice so go back to this guy if you want the same value you can you can do it this way but this is a uh, i think pretty nice voxel it's not um yeah it's not like the the usual ways you might think of voxel so it's, there's slightly a, a little bit of work going in and out i'm using spectro maybe in the future we just simply use geometry nodes for this um, So what else? What else I want to show you? It's a. Uh, it's pretty much done. However, how how do you export this out? What's interesting with everything here? Uh, I want to show you. We have this guy, and we want to export it out as alembic. I I show you this quick, uh, quickly. Turn off the instancings, and you can flatten the hierarchy or just turn on selected objects only you can export as animations for now just keep it simple just a single frame export the alembic and then file import it back into blender it's the kind of like a or it's like a long way goes in and out of blender but i think this is what blender is really powerful in that case so we have this suddenly we have this this is like a real objects i think they're not instance and this is actually renderable you can export this out as glb ar usdz whatever you want and you can actually kind of merge this into a single object so this is actually quite nice and pretty clean you have you have this on top uh, this is like a transform just move it outside so we end up with just the bake version this is probably this is probably what you want it's clean you can just do whatever with this now you can displace it with noise Okay, so yeah, I think that's pretty much what I want to show you. But I, I did mention about Magica Fox Cell, and if you really want to do this, um, before we have uh, the, the, the actual tool inside Geometry Nodes, uh, first we need to have a proper point cloud object. This object, okay, point cloud. This object will be probably the most efficient way to deal with point cloud and voxel voxelations also with dealing with particles this guy is actually interesting you can assign geometry nodes into this point cloud object still work in progress um, the next thing I want to talk about in the future in the near future maybe is the color of each point to affect to affect the box which is it's a it's not it's a problem that has been answered in different ways um, for so many years it's, it's basically like a Lego Lego block but anyway um, 
Magica Foxtail has a way for you to convert uh, to deal with lots of points and box very very efficiently sometimes faster than Blender but um, so if you really want I think baking if you have like a 3d mesh like the donuts with the texture already you can bake it out as a vertex color and then export it as PLY or something PLY is a good format for point cloud and then you send it to Magica Voxel turning it into 3d Voxel I think that's really one way if you want to have this with full color um, yeah very very efficiently you can export into any other format so yeah anyway this guy I think if we use our geometry it will voxelize itself so if we ever need a different object we can just pipe it in like so all right so this is uh, some kind of method to voxelize uh, and you still have control over the number of points so yeah it's not perfect sometimes there's it's like these points that's outside you can randomize the seed hoping that it will go away yeah so maybe maybe if I remesh the monkey head beforehand we get a different result There we go. Yeah, this is cleaner, and I think I quite like this method. All right, so hopefully you find this interesting and useful. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.